My name is Kain from the Tech Pro, and today I'm very happy I've completed this course I'm building for some days, for some weeks now, about Hibernate JPA. Hibernate is something that every Java programmer should know at this point, and there is no interview you are going to be going for if you are looking for Java programming position that you are not going to be asked about Hibernate. So I put this together. It covers everything you need to know about Hibernate. It's a step-by-step. -step and it also covers uh, about 28 parts, very simple and easy explained. The interesting thing is that all the code snippets you need, all the steps you need to follow, I've also highlighted them in my website. So at this point, I'd like you to take a look at everything we are going to cover. Once you complete this course, consider yourself to be Hibernate certified or Hibernate JPA certified. So this first part is the introduction or what is Hibernate is part one of the 28 part series on Hibernate JPA course for Java programmers. Now what is Hibernate and what is JPA? Now Hibernate is an ORM uh, tool for Java programming language. It provides a framework for mapping object re relational domain to relational database. What does it mean? If you look at the left-hand part of the screen, you'll see a table that has been built in Microsoft SQL Server. Before now, we go to the database, create tables, create stored procedures, create triggers, create functions, create views, and a whole lot of things. And then we build our application and then connect to the database. Gone are those days. An ORM, Object Relational Mapping, helps you to generate the table in the database on the fly. You don't have to waste your time creating database and building an application. In this case, the application will generate the database for you automatically. Think of the time you are going to save if you know about ORM or uh, Hibernate in this case. Now, what is JPA? JPA works with Hibernate. It's called Java Persistence API. It's a Java programming inter interface specification that describes management of relational database and application using Java platform. So basically, uh, JPA is responsible for generating the stored procedures, if you will. That is, it is responsible to, uh, for generating the query, select and start update and delete queries to the database. While Hibernate is, is responsible for building the database for you. So while you create your classes in, in, in Java, Hibernate is going to generate the database based on those classes you've created in Java. And JPA is going to be responsible for generating the queries for you on the fly. So you don't have to be writing select statement of this statement. JPA actually generates those statements for you easily. So that is why I recommend you try to be consistent. Follow this class from beginning to end. Uh, let me just go back a bit. In the previous one here, this is what we are going to build from beginning to end. We have two mappings. We have series of users, we have posts, and we have locations. And there are aspects of JPA and Hibernate that has been a problem. For instance, the cascade type, the, 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 the join column, the one to many, many to one. I've clarified this thing very, very clearly. So follow along in your computer, take the step by step, keep the page open. I'll show you how to get to the page right now, and take some time to read up the concept in my website. Uh, under each of the steps, you might see some things to read. I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel because if you subscribe, you kind of motivate me and I know that I'm not doing this alone. So please hit the subscribe button now and let me know what you feel. If in the list of topics I've listed in the previous page, there's something I'm missing out, please let me know in the comment box below. Now let's see, before, before you move on to the next part, please try to install Spring Tool Suite. This is Spring Tool Suite. So please try to install it. It's, it's, it's an easy thing to install. And I'd like to show you the list of videos uh, I've made. So in case there is something you, you already know and you want to skip to the next part, you'll go down to the description box at this point. you see the, 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 the links to any of the video in this 28 uh, uh, part series. For instance, you want to understand more about one to many you can easily skip to that particular video and be able to understand it, as you can see. We want to understand about J JSON identity info or JSON ignore, JSON manage reference, or how to handle infinite recursion error. You can easily search for it and find it right here. 
so everything you need to know about Hibernate and JPA basically. Now this is the procedure page. If you click on this page, it's going to open the procedure page. I uh, like to I recommend you keep this page open uh, throughout the times. So this is part one to seven, part eight to twelve, part thirteen to sixteen. All the parts are there for all the twenty-eight classes. If I let's say move to part six, I can see that there is everything explained to you. You have the step by step right there. And also you have the code snippets you use for these courses provided. So if you miss out something, feel free to use the code snippet that has been provided for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed. And also take some time, I recommend, and go through, go through the list of topics before you actually start from the first part. I'm kind on the Tech Pro. I'd like to hear from you. Leave me a comment and if this has been informative, like this video. Share it around in your social network, invite your friends to, to be part of this program and we can do this together and I also recommend you be consistent. If you are consistent, I assure you, you'll be a very good programmer. You, you will not have problem. Uh, after some time, you find out it becomes easy, easier and easier. So don't give up along the line. If you have a problem, let us know or Google it or even write me in the, in the, in the comment box below. And I definitely will be there for you. And I would like to congratulate you for the effort you put in learning. And I assure you that you'll be a good programmer in no time. So let's move on to part two.